Get in there. Get in there. There we go. Well, good morning. A bit of a wet and dreary start to our Saturday. You can see a fair bit of standing water out there in the arena. Rain just ended or is ending. There's still a drop falling here and there. But that should be it for the rain for the next few days, if we can believe the forecast. So we're, uh, we're gonna make the best of this and get some stuff done on a muddy Saturday. Okay, and so I'm walking out here to get chores done. And those of you who watched the last video, you know we had um, really two bull problems. But here at home, the Brangus bull had um, yeah, injured his, his penis, a um, problem he's dealt with in the past. We put him up here in the barn lot so that he was separated from the cows, couldn't hurt it anymore, or going to ultimately sell him because of that problem. He is up here in the barn lot all by himself, supposedly. This is gonna take some investigating. One of the other bulls is now in there with him. I mean, in an all time dumb move, what, what has happened? And I'm gonna have to figure out how it happened. One of the two bulls that was out in the pasture with 40 some odd cows breeding them went out of his way to come up here, somehow break into the pen with this bull so he could fight him. Like that, that is the epitome of stupid. Like, dude, you were out there loving on the ladies and you stopped that to come up here and fight him like i mean you say boys will be boys but this is like an all-time stupid move and i see what they did they tore down the panel over there which i mean i have to watch my language keep this family friendly but an all-time stupid just like, what is he doing I mean, this is infuriating. But now I've got the challenge of, well, I don't want the injured bull getting back out there. And, uh, and now that he's being stupid too, because his buddy just bro basically broke him out of jail. I shouldn't call him his buddy, really. Um, but still, instead of going out there and, and uh, giving the ladies the attention, they'd rather fight each other. Of course, it's muddy. My goodness. Hey, you two. Y'all get in that other pen. Hey, hey, hey. Y'all quit being morons. Yeah, this is where they just absolutely crumpled. Like, I just want to scream. Come on, you jerks. Get in there. Hey, hey, come on now. Hey, hey. I really don't care if they kill each other. I just don't want the one getting back out there. I had said we weren't gonna haul him for, for a couple of months probably even because he would just be up here out of the way. Well, that's changed. I'm getting rid of this sucker. He's gonna be on a trailer on Tuesday morning. Like, I ain't dealing with this crap. I, I know my brother, if he watches this video, he'll be sitting here laughing at this and saying, this is why you do stalker cattle. So why you don't have to deal with, with cows, bulls, any of it. Of course, I don't want to get right in the middle of them. They'll smash me like a, an aluminum can without even thinking about it. Hey! You're about to tear up the gate in other spots. Get in the barn! The absolute epitome of stupid fighting each other when there's 40 cows out there waiting for you to breed them uh, um i don't have a handgun on me but if i did we might have a dead bull or two right now like this is i'm gonna get irate i get it it's mind-numbingly dumb that this idiot came up here to literally fight this one who and I know they can't, he can't comprehend what well, bull. He's up there and he's done. They're gonna sell him. Got mud all over the camera. Say mud. 
Everybody knows there's this isn't all just mud, but God bless. Hi! Get in there! Get in there! There we go! No, 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 no! I don't care if they tear this place all to hell. Like, what are you? Are you? So hard for me to keep this language friendly. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Like, how stupid is this? I don't know if this pen's gonna hold them though. I really need to get them separated. Like, get, get out of here. You stay there. All right. No. You. What a dumb. You're an idiot. You're a total idiot. You whipped him. Good job. Good job. You proud of yourself? So, a Saturday morning that I thought was going to be, uh, you know, it's too muddy to do anything. We're not going to have a great deal going on. I got a bunch of little odds and ends to catch up on. Well, now all of a sudden, got a pin to repair. But I really don't even know why I would focus too much on that because they'll just do this the same damn thing again. Like, I got literally, I want to put that bull on a trailer right now and just have him out of here. Just be done with it. Um, in fact, I'm trying to think. I may can haul him tomorrow. I think they go ahead and receive on Sundays. Um, but just, this is mad as I've been at animals in a long time. All right, so I had a moment to cool down, think about it and what we're gonna do. We're gonna move all the cow herd, including the two remaining herd bulls. We're gonna go ahead and move them over to the neighbor's place. We've got grass everywhere. We've been blessed with plenty of rainfall. Speaking of which, we got a bunch of water running down through here. I'm gonna go ahead and move them back here to the other pasture. Let me get out of the way so they don't balk. Um, that way, I'm gonna go get some panels, fix that pen, I'm put him back in there and at least reasonably expect that he should stay because yeah, I'm afraid now even if I snap my fingers and have it fixed, they'll just do it again. I mean, obviously, um, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me kind of thing. I would really wanted to leave the cow herd out here in these pastures. Pretty much all the creek bottoms look like this, but they um, they don't really want to be out here anyway. You know, that, that fescue's gotten over mature. I need to get a clipper out here, something terrible. But I mean, as you can see, which I mean, it did just quit raining, but these bottoms, there'll be water standing out here for the next three or four days, um, even though there's no more rain in the forecast. So all this ragweed you see we've got in the past here, common ragweed, I should say. That was one of my things I was hoping we'd do today is finally get to spray before this stuff gets away from us. I mean, it, it's getting pretty tall, um, but it just rained too much. It's gonna be way too muddy to do that. Okay, so ran down the road here to the gilt edge farm. So I knew I had some of these wire panels. Of course, we got some tornado damage on top of them, but I need six. There's one, two, three. Of course, we are one short. Um, there are five, but the, I need six to fix both. Spot those bulls tore up this morning and then still need to fix this part over in the horse area. But it's gonna take a, a minute to, to be a plant nerd for you again i like to do this at least once per video i talked about the common ragweed there at the house um it's a problem but we got some here and there and whatnot but then uh a lot of giant ragweed too giant ragweed it's actually pretty decent forage um you don't see a lot of it really in pastures typically because they'll eat it out of here um as we look at this pasture like yeah it needs to be grazed clipped and maybe both but a lot of ragweed over here. Calves are on the other end of this farm. So when we get them up here, sometime over the next couple of weeks, we'll point out how they'll uh, they'll eat this up. Um, it's actually, yeah, like I say, very palatable, pretty good uh, forage. But well, I'm gonna see if I can get that limb off those wire panels, get them loaded up, so we can go home and work on that project. I want to ride down here and check on uh, these heifers. And of course, bull update. Well, there's there's the one 
air quotes, good bull down here. But he's actually a little lame. Um, I don't know that we'll get, be able to get a video of him walking since he's now at the feed bump, but looks like that right foot's a little swollen. He's not terribly lame. I noticed when I pulled up, he was out with all the calves, but he was laid down. And sure enough, once he got up, the more he walked, the better he was on it. But my gosh, that means both bulls on this farm have some degree of an injury. And one of the three at home has an injury. Man, it's just, yeah, I, I don't know what to say. Um, the other thing, the bull down here that, of course, if you watched the last video, we found him. He was kind of laid up, looked like he had been been scraped up around his back end probably fighting I, I really don't know that's kind of a weird weird injury um you know with it kind of down his tail head but i have not seen him since wednesday today is saturday um so we need to go get eyes on him i really kind of thought his injuries looked minor enough that by now he, he might be you know back with the herd well can't find the bull not yet he's not in the same place he was on wednesday uh, so we're gonna look a few other spots. Um, it's cooler this morning, so you think yeah, he might be venturing out even if he's still a little injured on his feet eating, but he's apparently somewhere laid up, which is a little bit annoying. I'd like to find him close by here so that we can go ahead and move on into the next pasture. Cause I really don't want to leave him behind. Well, I'm at a loss. Uh, I have not looked everywhere, obviously, because he didn't just disappear. But we can't find the bull. I've been an hour and a half or so we've been walking. I don't know. Um, very frustrating. Um, probably even more frustrating than it is concerning, but concerning as well. Only positive news I have is that the other bull that, of course, we just found had swollen foot, a little sore this morning. He was just mounting a heifer, so at least he's still putting in work, but yeah, I just, I can't spend all day down here looking for this bull. Um, one, I'm worn out, and two, I just don't have the time. All right, back home, gonna get this little problem the bull's created fixed. But you can see, I was, I was wrong. There's actually just a half a panel that was missing there, which actually it's not missing. It's just all crumpled up. They had pulled this one here off the post, but it's still not significantly damaged so i really only needed to replace that one half panel section already got one cut you know tack back to these posts shouldn't take too long i think he's the instigator he's over there right now just talking smack just you know running his mouth you know scratching the ground of course the other bulls are anywhere around but other bulls just stupid like why would you fall for that you had all the girls He's up here, yeah, again, on his way to being hamburger sooner rather than later. Don't worry about him. But I don't know, I guess it could be probably a lesson for a lot of people too. We worry about opinions and noise from people that we shouldn't worry about. But anyway, let's get these panels tacked back up here and get some other stuff done. Um, yeah, the project is made twice as hard by the fact that it's knee deep mud. I mean, you can see nearly went up over the high seas there. Um, dropped the camera in the mud so didn't film all of that repair and now where the that pecan tree came and fell which you got to replace the gate or the post the gate hangs on the gate somehow didn't get bent too terribly bad you gotta replace one two three four these wire panels over here shouldn't take too long so we just gotta need to pull what's left of that post up set the other one then just attach everything Well, got that project um, complete. Got the gate hung, got all the wire panels back up, so we can now shut the horses in here when we want to. Uh, just, just back to the way it should be. Wasn't a project I planned on getting done today because, again, we were hoping we were gonna get some pasture sprayed and whatnot, and then 
Of course, the bulls necessitated that we did some fencing down there, so I figured why not go ahead and get that off the to-do list. Um, I just, it feels like a very unproductive day just because I haven't got anything, well, I'll say that. None of the things I wanted to get done, I've gotten done. Um, gotten some other things done. It's already three o'clock, day has just flown by. Um, and we still have a few more things we need to do. <laughs> and before we turn the horses back out, uh, do have blood tubes here. It's the time of year we need to do our Coggins testing. Um, for those of you that have horses, you probably know exactly what that is. Um, for the rest of you, basically every year you're required to test um, any equine that you're selling or showing, or basically if it's leaving your farm, has to have a test to prove that it does not have equine infectious anemia. Um, and that's to, called a Coggins test. So we're gonna get a blood sample from each of these four and um, then we'll get those submitted to the lab and, and that way they'll be good to go for the next year. Molly tends to get the most squirrely when it comes to any kind of needles. So we'll see how this goes. And she may have been the least squirrely because that's the way it goes. Now she was perfect. The only one that was a problem is the one probably won't be able to include in a video on because of the language was honey. She, uh, and kind of ironically, she's the, the, now both ponies are show ponies, but honey is the one that's like our little superstar, if you will, in terms of she's the one that Kimber is really doing well on and least well behaved when it comes to uh, venipuncture or phlebotomy. But we're gonna go ahead and let these boys and girls out, or girls and boy, and uh, they can enjoy the rest of their day on pasture. I'm gonna ride back here and check on the cows one more time today, specifically the girl that we're waiting to calve. And there's actually two of them, but uh, where is she? That's her right there. And there. So she has not calved, but I thought there was at least enough of a chance that we ought to check um, the other heifer. I don't see her. She, she ran her somewhere. Oh, there she is. She's not quite as close. So, anyway, it's been a day. That's all we can say about today. It has been a day. We uh, started out the day, started out this video. I couldn't believe it. Went out there and where there was supposed to be one bull pinned up, there were two in there. I mean, they must have just gotten into it. Otherwise, they would have ended up back off out in the pasture together. But golly, I got mad. Um, yeah, just one of those days where woke up, of course it was raining, and so that really changed our, our possible accomplishments for the day. But we had a to-do list. We had busted our tail all day long. Um, day's not over yet. But our to-do list has only gotten longer as the day's gone on. But anyway, we've got a few things accomplished. Um, I gotta go run some errands. Um, meet up with a buddy, do, take care of a few other things. So maybe just about it for this video tomorrow, we're gonna hit it though. I don't know what we're gonna do. We may may cut some hay. I'm thinking though, I think they put a little chance of rain in the forecast for Tuesday. So if we cut tomorrow on Sunday, it'd be Wednesday before we bailed it. So we may hold off on that, which means we'll probably get some pasture sprayed. Um, they cannot decide. Now they're saying, a 20% chance for Tuesday. Earlier it was like 40. We're gonna watch that. That may be a, a morning time decision as to what we do. But we're, tomorrow we're gonna feel confident we're gonna be cutting hay or spraying pasture. Um, probably not both, we'll have time to do all, all of it. But anyway, we appreciate y'all watching. Um, yeah, check back for that next video. You'll find out what we're gonna be doing. Um, let's keep thinking, surely to goodness, we're gonna have a, a end of our spring calving um, but yeah, that's one of the cows we bought. And so she clearly wasn't, um, as far along bred as, as advertised when we bought her. But anyway, I'm rambling on, you know, that's the end of the video. We've got ribeyes thawed out. I'm going to throw them on the grill here in a little while. So y'all know what I'm going to be doing tonight. But y'all do the same. Y'all eat beef and God bless.